start the timer hello facebook uh we and linkedin we are going live today in a new spot and um i'm just organizing things in the background take your seats and uh all should be well he said okay and the stream is being analyzed and we're going to go live we'll be live and it's got to be on its way now okay i can see chris hello hello Stephen. Sorry, sorry, sorry we are live on air Okay, can we leave that until afterwards? Okay. Yeah, I'm waiting for the stream to go live. These are exciting and I'm going to try again. But first, you don't succeed, try again. And uh, hopefully, this time it will work. And it says that it's live, but I'm just waiting. Ah, oh, right. Okay. Now, I can take that card away. I can take that off solo and reveal myself and Angelica. Hello, Angelica. <laughs> Hello, Stephen. That, that, took, that was a, a few exciting moments. It went, uh, in the end, it went okay. So, I can now announce uh, and well say welcome everyone uh, welcome to the show and let's need to change now uh, change something it will appear at the bottom as i take that off screen ask angelica german language tuition idioms and tongue twisters letter f season four episode six Angelica, could you explain what we're doing? Yes, and um, we're doing something slightly different to before. I mean, we've we've already had the letters A to E, where we just had a German idiom and the English meaning. Um, we now have the German idiom followed by a literal translation and then the English meaning. Um, because I think that's something you've been trying to do beforehand anyway. So I thought we'd put it in. And we're finishing um, it off with... Yeah, sorry. Yeah, carry on, carry on. I'm just All right. Uh, so we'll have a couple of idioms and finish off with two tongue twisters, uh, incorporating the letter F. And um, I think I might have got the easiest German tongue twister ever. And okay. um, most likely the hardest one as well. I'm so looking forward to this. I'm going <laughs> to hide uh, the graphic because you know who we are now. So Stephen and Angelica, we are in deepest Wiltshire. And the way that this works, and you can join in, is that Angelica's put together 10 phrases, nine, 10 phrases in German, which I will read out in German. Angelica will correct my pronunciation and then we'll try and translate it. But it's not straightforward, which is why Angelica this week has done the German idiom, the literal translation and our English equivalent. OK, so all will become clear as we actually start to go through the phrases. The phrases are numbered. So phrase number one is einen Frosch im Als haben. Yeah, einen Frosch im Hals haben. Okay, now I do know, I, Angelica is my German language tutor, so I do know some of this, if not all of it. <laughs> einen Frosch is a frog. Mm -hmm. uh, Arben is to have, so uh, to have a frog. Was, ist, was bedeutet als? Well, this idiom actually is one that when you translate it literally, you get the equivalent in English because we uh -huh. have that same meaning. So does that ring the bell? 
before I tell you what ALS is. If you could tell me what ALS is, it would be. <laughs> oh. It's a part of your body, it's your throat. Ah, right, okay. And frog in your throat. The literal translation is to have a frog in your throat. Which I think we say in English as well, don't we? Well, you, the translation, the equivalent you've got is to have difficulty in speaking because your throat feels dry and you want to... to oh, there's an H missing. <laughs> I missed an H. The you H disappeared. <laughs> But we, we do have we do have the saying a frog in your throat exactly and uh, the, the meaning of that is that you have difficulties in speaking <clears throat> because you've got a dry throat and you just want to cough and uh, this one actually is identical idiom in english and in german okay. and we've invented a new word now we've got a cog <laughs> If you're playing along with us on Facebook and watching on Facebook or LinkedIn, then please do uh, read the German out. The beauty of this is that we can't hear you. So if you get it wrong, nobody will know about you. And uh, then you can help us with the translation as well. And you can do this either. This is a good time to announce it. You can do this either on Facebook, LinkedIn, or Angelica and I are live on Amazon Live today for the first ever time. Mm. Hence my nervousness at the beginning, because I had to get everything set up. Okay. So on to phrase two. Wo sind Fuchs und Hase gute Nacht sagen? Wo sich Fuchs und Hase gute Nacht sagen? Right. Wo is where. Mm -hmm. Gute Nacht is good night. Mm -hmm. Fuchs und Hase is uh, the fox and the hare. So where did the fox and the hare say good night? Yeah, it's where the fox and the hare say good night to each other. And where is that? Where the fox and the hare say good night to each other. I haven't got a clue. I mean, I'm fairy fa fables and fables and fairy tales are not my genre. It's nothing to do with a fairy tale, actually. Okay. It's would you ever see a fox and a hare say good night to each other? No. No. Um well we'd we do a pretend reason why you don't see it. Yeah, and that is because that would happen in the middle of nowhere. Uh, which is the English equivalent. Okay, okay. So right. people might so, say, Ich wohne, wo sich Fuchs und Hase gute Nacht sagen. Yeah, it's sort of, I live sort of in the middle of nowhere. Nobody ever comes there. Right. Not that we okay. live there, because we live in devices, which is not in the middle of nowhere. It isn't. It's in the middle of Wiltshire. <laughs> Close to right, so our equivalent, the English equivalent, is in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Okay. Right, okay. So we're now going on to phrase three. And phrase three is... And I, had, I don't practice these before. That would be unfair if I did. So, eine Fliege machen. Yeah, eine Fliege machen. Uh, to take flight. No, Fliege is not a flight, although it's got something. It's a little flying insect. Oh, it's a noun, isn't it? It's not a, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. of course. It's, it's a noun. fly. Right. Subtle hint, or not too subtle hint, all German nouns start with a capital letter. So if it's got a capital letter, it must be a noun. Uh, I, so to make a fly is the that literal... That would be the literal make. translation, yeah. What do you think it might could mean? To take flight. Well, to yeah, buzz. So to, sorry, to what? Buzz. Mm. It flies buzz. No, they don't. <laughs> okay. Uh, flap their wings, though. Yeah. Uh, the, 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 the English equivalent might, might mean, actually, to buzz off, possibly. Um, the meaning is really to run off quickly. Okay. So if I said to you, Stephen, mach ne Fliege, yeah, then I'm telling you to go away pretty quickly. 
I wouldn't say that though because you're in charge of the recording. I mean, a Fliegermacken literally is to make a fly, and the English equivalent is to run quickly. quickly. Yeah. And it's it's I think this is a nice one which is quite easy to to recognize because we all know how quickly flies uh, fly from one bit to the other. Yeah, they are True. pretty fast. And uh, I think that's where it came from. So I think people have seen flies, you know, fly off and all that. And if they wanted somebody else to go away, they just told them, just just be like a fly. Okay. Um... Go. <laughs> Okay, phrase four. German phrase Farbe bekennen. Mm -hmm. Farbe bekennen. Farbe is colours. Or colour, uh, yeah. Colour. To know a, a colour. Ah, no, that's kennen is to know. You're absolutely right about that one, but bekennen isn't. Bekennen. Is to confess. Colour confess. To confess colour. To show your true colours or? Um, yeah, actually that would work as well. Okay. So literal translation is, this is L4, uh, to confess colour, which doesn't mean anything at all in English. Uh, but the lit, the definite translation, the English equivalent, is to come clean. Ah, right. Now, okay. it comes from card games. Okay. Because when you've been asked to confess your colour in card games, it means you're supposed to put your cards on the table. And if you put your cards on the cable, you do come, come clean because you've either won or you haven't, <laughs> and you've you've uh, 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 played along. Got it. Okay, so let's just recap then, and we'll be recapping all these. Um, Farber Buchanan to confess colour, and our equivalent is to come clean. Okay, and we say hello to Chris. Chris de Boven in Belgium has said hello to us in St. Nicholas. And uh, one of these phrases we did earlier, because I've only just seen the comment, uh, is the same in Dutch as well. Okay, phrase five. Zijn fetten weg haben. Yeah, not Zijn right. Zijn fet weg haben. Weg Weg haben is to give a give a give way. It's, it's to have a way more like it. It's not really used as a verb on its own. So it's more like to to have something off or away. And what is the something? A fat. 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 Mm -hmm. To lose weight. Uh, no, actually, it isn't. <laughs> I can, yeah, I, I can see that. Um, uh, this is more negative because to lose weight in most people is actually something very positive. This one isn't. Oh, good. Shall we see what the literal <laughs> translation is? Uh, have one's fat off. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I'm bemused now. Uh, shall we reveal the answer? Yeah, on. Go on. <coughs> to get what's coming to you. Yeah, that's why I said it's oh. more negative. It's definitely um, more I, negative. Yeah, and 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 so you, he, he you, 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 had sein Fett weg. It's sort of he he's got what he what was coming to him, and yeah. uh, I thought well, I wonder where that's oh, all the other idioms at the moment are pretty understandable where they came from. This one i had no idea so i did a bit of research and yeah. um as it happened in the olden days whenever the olden days were uh, okay. when pigs were slaughtered at home and then shared out to the family to the individual members of the enlarged family um the fat was the most unpopular bit for people to get and it was seen a little bit as a punishment 
if you were the poor person who got the fat? Now, if you have a roast pork joint, the fat is part of enjoying the joint. Yeah, but you That's wouldn't just want the fat, would you? <laughs> okay, no. Okay, and so just to recap then, uh, the original phrase five was sign fet, vic, harben. Vec. Vec. And Goku's here to connect my pronunciation. That one's fat off is a literal translation, and the English equivalent is to get what's coming to you. You're just desserts. <laughs> yes. Okay. Phrase number six. Uh, Inspect Neptune Treten. Yeah. Inspect oh. Neptune Treten. Okay. Now, doing okay on the pronunciation, apart from the odd one, but in terms of translation, this has not been my starring role. <laughs> to, uh, That's because these are, a lot of these actually are words that you wouldn't see much in textbooks or they're not um, uh, necessary in your day-to-day -day vocab. Mm -hmm. Well, no, um, that I can see. And I, I'm going to put my hands up and say, can you help? Okay. Well, we've just heard what fet is, which is huh? fat. And mm -hmm. Neptune, that's actually a, really an old word. I, I don't think I've ever seen the word Neptune on its own, but it's like the, the, the saucer, like where you might put some cat food or whatever in or anything like this. Uh, treten is to step. So mm -hmm. literal translation would be to step into the fat saucer. Okay. Yeah. This is right. Okay. Now, our equivalent, I couldn't even begin to imagine what the English equivalent is. Can you? Okay. And Chris, is Chris going to have a guess? We'll just check on uh, Amazon Live. Oh, right. Okay. Um, I don't know what's happening. I think we've got some uh, something going on on Amazon Live. But if you are watching on Amazon Live, thank you. Um, to step into the fat saucer. Hmm. Okay. Uh, oh, you, didn't do the, you missed out the translation, the meaning. I did. Okay. This is live That's video. Yeah. To put one foot in it. So let's just recap. Okay. Uh, in Svet Neptune Treten, mm -hmm. literal translation is to step into the fat saucer and Which our would English. Be pretty uncomfortable, wouldn't it? Well, yeah. You, you slip and slide. And to put one's foot in it. Okay, which is definitely an English idiom. Yeah. Okay, over to phrase number seven, which in That's German it. is in alter frischer. Uh -huh. uh, in old. Okay, uh, freshness, frischer, fresh. Yeah. No. And uh, in, in old freshness, or actually, I, I didn't use the word old because alter can also mean former. So I've translated it as this in its former freshness. In its former freshness. That okay. is a bit more similar to what we say, although we have got an English idiom, which I really like because it's so much nicer than the German one. In its former freshness. In other words, it's, it's, it's now stale, is what we're saying. No, it's not. I'd like you to come to the meeting in your former freshness. <laughs> but we don't say that. We say something no. else. We say all bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Yeah. Now, so where that gone, comes from, I have got no idea. We've gone from former freshness to bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Okay. Right. <laughs> and uh, this, this is the bit that I genuinely look forward to because I'm going to read. The next one is a tongue twister. Yeah. Now, I'm going to read it, and then Angelica's going to read it too. Okay. This one is easy, the first one. Are we ready for this? A few, a few seconds preparation. Oh, no, you've done the hard one to first. Okay, fine. Oh, oh, to, oh no, I'll do this. Oh, maybe, no, it's it's fine, because I think we set the hard one first. That's okay. Yeah, no, do, do the hard one first, then, and then it's done. The hard one first. Yeah. Okay. This is probably the most well-known German tongue twister as well. But not to me. So let's give it a go. Fischer Fritzer fished, Frischer Fischer. Frischer Fischer fished, Fischer's Fritzer. 
that is well done. <laughs> it's your turn. <laughs> Fischer's Fritze, Fisch, Frische, Fische. Frische, Fische, Fisch, Fischer's Fritze. I'm afraid I can't do it any faster either. Okay. Uh, so, the translation of this. It's Fischer, actually just as tongue twisty. <laughs> it, it doesn't translate, does it? It does. It does. But in, in English, it's got lots of F sounds as well. So it's, it's almost a tongue twister in English as well. Fischer's Fritze, that is, the, the boy's name is Fritz, although he's called Fritze, and his mm. surname is Fischer. So it's the Fritz of the family Fischer. Yeah. And he fishes fresh fish. So and then fresh, the sentence gets repeated, just a word order slightly different. Fresh fish fishes Fritz Fischer. Okay. That's the tongue. Yeah, let's go to, uh, when is it? I'll come to the English translation first. Fishes, fishes, Fritz, fishes, fresh fish, fresh fish, fishes, Fritz, fishes for. Where does it come from? No idea. Okay, but it's well known. It's it, it's it's the most most known. I mean, if 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 you talk to people, uh, what's the most known German tongue twister? I think they would say it's this one. Ah, right. And you okay. can see why because it's it's got the lots of. F, F, the, the, the fish, Fritz, Fritz, you know, and it's quite hard to say. And, you know, the idea with the tongue twister is that you're supposed to say it really fast. And I draw a line in that one as well. Okay. Right. Now we're going on to what is called the easier one. Let's have a look at the easier one. I think we? it is. Uh. <laughs> right. Okay. And when hinter fliegen, 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 fliegen nach. Now, I told you it's easy, isn't it? When hinter fliegen, 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 fliegen nach. Okay. Uh, when, mm, when behind? No. Two. Nach is two. Are you still no, there? That's after. In this case, it's 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 after or behind, really. Okay. Or right. after, so, yeah. Thank you, thank you for helping. That so the um, translation is when flies fly behind flies, flies fly after flies. Okay. We, well, it's definitely definitely it was definitely. Did you, oh, did you say that, Clown Trista? I don't think you did. Hmm? What? Yeah, I did. When hinter fliegen, 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 fliegen nach. No, you said it twice. Okay. <laughs> right. Now we come to the second part of the show because there's three parts today. <clears throat> Just one Amazon Live. Uh, if you're not watching an Amazon Live, do join us for the final part of the show because we're going to be looking at Angelica's books. Uh, okay. So, Angelica will now read. The German sentences in perfect German, and then we'll take it in turns to do the rest. Okay. And Gary, Chris, over to you. Okay. Einen Frosch im Hals haben. And the translation of phrase one is to have a frog in your throat. Literally means to have a difficulty in speaking because your throat feels dry and you want to cough. 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 Okay. <laughs> Okay. First two. Wo sich Fuchs und Hase gute Nacht sagen. Literal translation: Where fox and hare say good night to each other. And this is one that expects an answer. To yeah. So the answer is in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Where do they do that? In the middle of nowhere. That's why nobody ever sees a fox and a hare say good night to each other. Gotcha. I'm okay. a Fliegenmacher. Uh, which is, phrase three, to make like a fly. And the English equivalent is to run off quickly. Okay. Could be to buzz off as well, couldn't it? <laughs> right. Okay. Farbe bekennen? I nearly said that. It's not my turn, is it? <laughs> okay. And 
literal translation is to confess a colour, and the English equivalent idiom is to come clean, to confess. Okay. Phrase five. Sein Fett weghaben. Literal translation is to have one's fat off. So we've learned today because we've seen the word several times, fat is fat. Mm -hmm. And Weg Harben is to have one's fat off. Right, okay. And uh, our equivalent is get what's coming to you or get your just desserts. Mm -hmm. Press six. Ins Fettnäpfchen treten. Which means, literally translated, to step into the fat saucer. Okay. And our English equivalent is to put one's foot in, on it, in it, on it. In it. Frische. <laughs> in alter Frische. Which translates literally to in its form of freshness. And I, I've gone stale here, but actually the equivalent is to all bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, which is a well-known idiom. Yeah. In English, I'm always bright eyed and bushy tailed, but not until nine o'clock in the morning. Um, right, okay, over to you. Fischer's Fritze, Fisch, Frische, Fische, Frische, Fische, Fisch, Fischer's Fritze. Right, okay, and I've got space, I've got sets as well. Fischer's Fritze, Fisch, Frische, Fischer, Frische, Fischer, Fisch, Fischer's Fritze. Okay. Which in translates to uh, fi oh, well, yeah. That's totally fishes, fr fishes, fresh fish, fresh fish, fishes, fritz, <laughs> fishes, four. Okay, what? and the final, the final one of today. Wenn hinter fliegen, 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 fliegen nach. Wenn hinter fliegen, 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 fliegen nach. Okay, yes. you notice that the 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 difference in the word meaning is because some of the words there have got a capital letter so yeah beware if it's a capital letter it's a noun not a verb yeah so fliegen with a capital letter is flies as in those little animals and fliegen without the capital letter is to fly brilliant okay uh when flies fly behind flies flies fly after flies now i must admit i've not heard that one but that doesn't mean a thing as far as idiom goes, <laughs> uh, if if you're watching on Facebook or LinkedIn, thank you very much for watching. The next section we're actually over on Amazon Live. If you want to join us, you're most welcome to. But in the carousel on Amazon Live, we have 18 books. Whilst I talk, Angelica, do you want to open where with a letter G in it? Indeed. Um, it's just for me. Und tschüss von mir. Bis später. And thank you for watching on us Amazon Live. This was the first time we've been on Amazon Live. In the words of Arnold Schwarzenegger, we'll be back. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> and thank you, Chris. Thank you, Corinda. And thank you, Nick. <laughs>